Get ready to tone your core with this 10 minute Super Nevada ab workout. No equipment necessary. Okay guys, let's get into it today with a standing cross crunch to warm up these abdominals. Hands to the side of the ears, opposite elbow to knee. Really focus on control rather than speed here. Now some of you may be wondering, what is this man talking about when he said a super Tabata? That is not a thing. I know, Rainier Pollard likes to bend the rules. What that means is that as opposed to the traditional Tabata, where it's 20 seconds on and 10 seconds rest, some of our movements today will be 40 seconds, just like this one is right here, and then you get a longer resting period after. So I want you to go 14 more seconds of this exercise, keep it rotating, keep it controlled, little element of balance, that comes from the abs too. It's all part of the master plan. Standing tall, driving those knees up, and rest. Nicely done. So our next exercise is gonna be in a nice plie squat. We're staying low. We're gonna be here for 20 seconds. Hands right back where they were. And give me some nice side bends. Good little oblique crunch here. Getting low. Now you may notice that there are some hearts behind my head. And that's because I plan on killing your abdominals in the next 10 minutes, but I'm doing it with love. You understand? Also extra credit if you laugh at any of my jokes today. That's also part of the ab workout. Rest, okay, stand tall. We get right back down. You might be feeling these thighs warming up. Good, because we're gonna use them today. Get low and side to side, let's get it. One more 20 second interval here and we are on the floor working these abdominals. Ooh, get a little fire in these legs because you know the quads have to work pretty hard if you want to work these abdominals. So get them warm. It's all a part of the territory. Last little bit here, and let's take it to the ground. Our first floor exercise today is gonna to be a six inch hold. Now, we say that meaning ideally your legs are knees locked six inches right above the ground. Now, if that is not available to you, I don't care where these legs are. As long as they are not completely perpendicular to the floor, a little bit low, 45 degrees, you're gonna be working these abs. 20 seconds at a time. Let's get our first interval here. Hold it out, lock it out. Now, as you notice, I'm pushing my belly button into the ground, raising my shoulder blades, trying to create a nice hollow body, nice and long. If you wanna up the ante, hands to the side of the ears are gonna make it a little bit harder, make your upper body a little bit heavier, or arms overhead if you really wanna show it off. Rest, it's the first interval. We got one more of those to go, and it happens in five seconds. On your mark, get set, fly it back, go. So again, if you need to modify this exercise, if you are not over here trying to look like a full out hollow body gymnast, you can have those legs up high. I still want these knees to be locked out. You can have your hands to the side of your thighs, really reducing the amount of pressure on the upper body and on that lower back. And rest, very nice. Now. We're gonna follow that up with one of those super Tabata intervals. We're getting ourselves some bicycles. We're gonna get those knees driven all the way in and push those heels all the way out. So let's get it here, 40 seconds, rotating that upper body. I always like to think of it as like shimmying your shoulder blades. You're moving your shoulders side to side and driving those legs all the way forward. Again, if it's too hard to drive them nice and low, you can drive them high up here. I don't want it to be too much about the speed. I want it to be more about the knee drive and the control. Last moments here, less than 10 seconds. Get all the way through the motion. Four, three, two, and rest. Very nice. Okay, we're getting a little fire in the tummy. That's called warming up. It's all good. It's all a part of the plan. We're going back to those six inch holds wherever you can have those knees locked out and I want little flutter kicks. Join me here. Ooh, I feel it, I feel it. So feet are long, arms can go overhead for those of you looking for that extra credit move. Ooh, remember, engage. If your neck is hurting, that probably means you need to put more energy into those abdominals, rest. The more that you engage that core, push that belly button down into the floor and raise those shoulder blades, the less pressure that's gonna be on your neck and your lower back. Go, last set here, what are you gonna do? I mean, I could show off and make it look really hard right now, but you know what? 
I wanna show off the modified level. I'm doing that for you guys, okay? I wanna have realistic standards in the video. That's the only reason. And rest. In other words, I'm not trying to just save myself because I've had a long weekend. I don't want you to assume that. Our last but not least exercise, we are gonna have some pull-out scissor kicks. It's just like the bicycles, but with long legs. So, if this is too high of a level for you, go back to those bicycles with the knees bent. Join me here, everybody. Again, I'm rotating it side to side. I'm not pulling on my neck. My hands are to the side of my ears, not behind my head trying to um, help in this motion. Your hands are not here to help. They are actually here to hinder. You wanna put your hands to the side of the ears and get the upper body weighed down a little bit more make these bicycles or these scissor kicks a little bit more difficult. If you want, you can reach the hands. Ooh, 10 seconds here, finish it out, feel it. I feel like I get a little spiritual whenever my abs are burning. I don't know what that association's about. Okay guys, we're done with those and not a second too soon. Let's turn over and get ourselves a nice plank Tabata. Um, our first plank is just gonna be that a normal plank, nothing to it but to do it, 40 seconds. I want you to hold tight. Now we got a little fire built in those abdominals already. We're gonna feel it. But I want you to engage your full body as much as you can here. Don't just leave one muscle group to work here on its own. Lock your knees, engage that lower back, engage the, the shoulder blades down the back. I want you to get as many muscle groups to fire as you can to get you through this 40 second plank. And if you need to, you could always lower your knees gently as long as you keep your hips supported and do a modified plank to take it all the way home. We have another five, four, three, two, and rest. Nicely done. So we're gonna follow up that 40 second plank with two 20 second intervals where I want you to lower one knee at a time without letting your hips move whatsoever. Join me right here and try these out. Now, if you um, need to be in a modified plank for all of these activities, you can just stay on those knees. You can actually keep the toes on the ground as well and just focus on staying in there with us for the full plank Tabata, which will be a full four minutes. We're about to finish our first 20 second interval right now. Rest it up, rest it up. I always recommend getting off the hands, getting off the shoulders, shake them out. We have our second 20 second interval. One knee down at a time if you're joining me there, go. So as you can see, my goal is to keep everything from my shoulders to my hips perfectly still as I drop one knee at a time. Last moments come here, coming here. Good control, good control. Rest. Nice. Now we're gonna go for another 40 second plank. Want you to hold strong, and we're gonna just swivel these hips side to side. Try to take our hips towards the ground. Let me see you shake it, okay? Feet back, block it out, and side to side. Now, if you do wanna modify, but you don't wanna go to the knees, what you could do is actually just make your feet a little wider. Give yourself a little more base of support, swiveling these hips side to side. Again, you'll notice I'm not about speed. It is about good control, feeling it, getting as much of a stretch as you can. The bigger the stretch, the bigger the contraction. Can you take those hips down to the ground? Just give it a little kiss, a wow, look at that. A little wow, there it is. Seven seconds. Let it turn, baby, let it turn. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, those of you that have taken my videos before know I can sweat at the drop of a hat. That is happening right now. Okay, both knees down and up without the hips moving if you'd like that challenge, or you can stick with one knee at a time. Ready, go, down, and lock it out. Nice and easy, just a gentle tap towards the ground. Nothing violent, you definitely should not be able to hear your knees hit the floor. Whew. Just like so. Last moments here. Three, two, and rest. Very nice. Okay, y'all, get through this last 20 second interval and we're gonna stretch it out. 
Okay, three seconds, two, go. Low to high. Very nice. Ooh, I know, you, I know what you're thinking. How could this almost be over? You know, you were just getting warmed up. You were just hitting your stride. Well, don't worry. I have other videos on Pop Sugar that you can Google right now. You could go get a longer workout if you need to. I'm there for you, boo. Rest. Okay, y'all. Great job. Let's open back up these hips and these shoulders. We're going to get ourselves a nice reverse plank to start out. I want your feet right in front of you. Just thrust those hips up. So my hands, uh, fingertips are facing back. I'm pushing through my heels, squeezing my butt, and thrusting my hips up nice and high. Oh. Reverse planks are very responsible to involve in your uh, core training regimen, works the back of the body. You wanna have a nice, well-rounded core training methodology. You don't, basically I'm saying don't just do sit-ups. Don't just do sit-ups, please. I'm asking as a friend. Okay, thrust those hips a little bit higher. You got this, last eight seconds. How high can you keep it? Squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Work that back body and Rest, very nice. Okay, we're gonna get one more little interval there, a nice hip thrust, but we're gonna involve an alternating reach. So you're gonna reach your hand over the opposite shoulder. Join me here. I'm gonna take my right hand back over that left shoulder. Oh yes, that feels good. Right down low to the ground. I just tap my booty to the floor in between. Nice deep range of motion there. Just a little tap and a squeeze and reach. Ooh, we should have just done this for 10 minutes. This feels good. Oh, get to open back up your shoulders a little bit. Ooh, feel that stretch all the way down the side of the body, a little bit of the QL. Give me 15 more seconds here, and we are all finished. Ooh, I like it. Breathing through, exhaling as you come up high. We got one more here, reach it over, reach it over, ease down. Okay, y'all, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.